let's take a look at the SRPG19 King Turtle. It is a patty special edition that will retail for $625. Now, this specific version carries a 3D pressed patty pattern dial that is taken from the patty logo. And patty stands for the Professional Association of Dive Instructors. And I like the fact that Seiko has been collaborating with this organization on dive watches on different special editions for a number of years now. And I have been an owner of the original Patty Turtle. <laughs> In fact, I have owned more turtle models than any other Seiko, be it a diver or a different type of watch. It is a model that I find particularly fun. And it carries, God, it carries this X factor that we search for with a very low relative retail price versus a high amount of wearability and satisfaction on wrist. In other words, you're not spending a lot of money, but you're getting a lot of watch and a lot of enjoyment. And that's something that we search for as watch collectors and find to a degree with various watches. I've just found personally that the turtle carries a lot for not a lot of money. Now let's talk pros and cons. Pros, excellent cushion case with weight, with substance. Uh, you definitely don't forget that you have this on wrist. I like the drilled lugs. I like the crown at the four o'clock position. I like this design, which has its roots in the 6309. It is surprisingly wearable for such a substantive, you know, serious dive watch. It has good fit. It has a good stance. It has a short lug to lug dimension and a relatively thin profile. My wrists, for reference, are 7.25 inches in circumference. Now, the other thing that I enjoy is the good Seiko LumaBrite on your distinctively shaped hands and markers and notice your hilted sword in form on your 12 o'clock marker. I also like the fact that this model carries an OEM bracelet that does not make me want to immediately take it off and switch it to an aftermarket bracelet from StrapCode or Uncle Seiko, or another manufacturer, like it does whenever I buy a different, more affordable Seiko diver like an SKX. The other thing I enjoy about the Turtle is the vast amount of different colors, different special editions, and limited editions, and regional market exclusives, including recently discontinued variations. In other words, there is a lot of option, and I like having option as a consumer uh, so that's a great thing. There is a flavor of the turtle for almost every, you know, almost every watch fan. And then lastly, this is the best part about a Seiko turtle is it is affordable whether you're buying new or buying used and you get a high amount of satisfaction, versatility, wearability, functionality versus a very low relative, you know, to that high amount of satisfaction, a very low retail price. So there's a great ratio when it comes to the turtle, and that's always something that I enjoy. Now let's talk cons or negatives. I think the big one here is nobody likes the widescreen Cyclops. I think it looks bad. I think it's slight, it might be slightly misaligned, or maybe it's just the angle that I'm looking at this watch, but you go to Seiko's website, and even their rendering is bad when it comes to the alignment. Uh, so I don't know, you guys know Seiko's history when it comes to alignment on their dive watches. It is not something that they really care about. So I would prefer to see the widescreen Cyclops eliminated. And it is nice that some new models are coming without that widescreen Cyclops. Now, the other thing, I just want to mention this. If you're new to Seiko, if you're new to Japanese divers, I think you will not like the bezel action. You will not like the accuracy of the in-house movement, and you will not like the flimsiness feeling of the clasp. It is classic Seiko. It is nothing like a Swiss watch, and the accuracy will be nothing like a chronometer. Again, you're buying something that's affordable. It's just a different animal. It is classic Seiko, and that can be off-putting if you're not used to it. Now, lastly, I'd like to say... I like how one, a watch fan, could get into an ISO-rated dive watch with a great design, great wearability, with complete vertical integration when it comes to the production. Everything coming from one company, it's affordable, you have options, there is a lot to enjoy. And again, I've owned more Turtles than any other Seiko. There is something about 
this model that keeps me coming back. I don't ever seem to keep them, but uh, that's just my own problem. It's not really a problem with the watch. Now, handling this makes me want you know, to get another turtle. I got the itchy trigger finger now. So I am going to reshop a watch that I have thought about from Seiko for years now, and that is the SRP C23. I think this one, I think this one's my favorite. There are a lot of great ones, a lot of great ones that I've tried, but this has the original color scheme that Seiko did for their first diver back in 1965, and I just think it looks on point in the turtle. So I don't know, maybe I'm going to go spend some money after doing this video. Beware, you know, if you're if you're considering a Seiko turtle, whether it is this King Patty or or whatnot, it could give you the taste for other cushion cased Seiko divers and some that cost a lot more than this turtle does. So it could be a slippery slope into a Willard or into a Marine Master or an Urimura or a different model. And that is kind of a fun thing, but a dangerous thing as a watch collector. So uh, keep that in mind. Let me know if you have any specific questions about Seiko, about the uh, Patty different editions they've done over the years, uh, the different turtle models they've done over the years. If I can help out, I will help out. Let me know if you have questions. And thank you for watching today. If you're interested, this watch will be part of the Bruce Williams 100,000 subscriber giveaway, which I will be doing hopefully very soon. I'm less than 2,000 subscribers away from hitting that threshold. So thank you to all of you that have helped me get to this point. And again, this watch will be included in the dozen watches that I will be giving away when I hit that milestone. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.